Congratulations on purchasing your new E2CF 3D printer. In this video, we will cover unboxing and preparing the printer for its first print. To unbox the printer safely, you will need a pair of scissors or a razor. Ok, let's get started. First, place the printer in an open area. Next, take the scissors or a razor, and cut the 8 packing straps. Then, cut the tape along the top of the cardboard box. Open the box and inside you will find styrofoam containing the quick start guide, 5 power cords, and a hex wrench set. Select the power cord for your region, the quick start guide, and the hex wrench. Place them nearby for later use. Now, remove the top styrofoam and the cardboard covering the printer. We recommend having a second person help you. Remove the plastic bag and the printer from the foam padding and carefully place it in an open area. Plug the power cord into your printer and plug it into the socket. Reach to the back of the E2CF and flip the red switch. The printer will enter the boot process. This should take about 60 seconds until the touchscreen displays the startup wizard. Set the language of the printer. Remove the X-axis lock and Z-axis lock with your hand following the startup wizard. Keep both the X and Z-axis locks, as they can be used in future transportation. Startup wizard will help you finish the printer's name, the language, network connection and other basic settings. Then take out the raised 3D filament dry box. The dry box is used to store carbon fiber filaments and keep them dry. Take out the metal quick connector, nut, and guide tube from the box. Tear off the vacuum packaging of two bags of 100 gram silica gel desiccant and put them into two desiccant boxes respectively, and close the lids. Remove the rubber plug on the side of the box, and install the metal quick connector and guide tube. Place the dry box next to the printer for the next steps. Now, we will enter the 5 step offset calibration, which are left Z probe offset, right Z probe offset, bed leveling, our nozzle's eye offset and dual color cube. Make sure your printer meets the requirements on the screen. Follow the instructions on the screen to load the filament, and finish the offset calibration step by step. The offset calibration aims to make sure the nozzle and the heat bed are correctly calibrated. It will take about an hour to finish the whole calibration. Here we take the left Z probe offset as an example to help you be familiar with the operation. The left Z probe offset is to calibrate the height of the left nozzle. Next. Put a 0.3 mm feeler gauge between the heat bed and the left nozzle to test the height. Adjust the nozzle height on the screen, until you can feel resistance between the feeler gauge and the nozzle. Now follow the instruction to load the raised 3D premium PA12CF filament into the extruder. Press the quick connector and pull the filament guide tube out. Take out the raised 3D filament dry box, it can effectively prevent the filaments from getting damp during storage and use. Put the filament spool into the filament dry box. Feed the filament through the guide tube and close the box. Place the filament dry box beside the printer, and insert the filament into the quick connector on the printer. Then select next on the screen to enter the next step. The printer will start to heat up. Until the printer is heated to the target temperature, load the filament into the extruder.
make sure that the filament can be extruded normally. The printer will automatically print a 9-block pattern model. You need to apply special polyacrylate adhesive on the build plate to make the filament stick more firmly. After the test model is printed, compare the model with the example on the screen. The printer will prompt you to choose the first block you see that does not leak light. Now you have finished the first step of offset calibration, the printer will tell you the current suitable nozzle height. Follow the instructions on the screen to complete the remaining steps of the 5-step offset calibration. Congratulations! You have finished the guide. Now let's start printing your first model. For additional inquiries or technical support, please visit www.raise3d.com or contact Raise3D customer service at support at raise3d.com. Thanks for watching.